Welcome back to MCSIDT. Today in this seventh session, we'll be discussing the designing a bedroom layout of 11 feet by 11 feet 6 inches. Let us start by making a rectangle of 11 feet by 11 feet 6 inches. Let us offset it outside to show the thickness of the wall. Let us draw a window on the shorter wall of this bedroom. Then let us draw the entry door to the bedroom. Let us assume there is an attached bathroom door to it. Let us take a queen size bed of 60 inches by 78 inches and check out on which wall it will be most suitable to place. Obviously, we will not be able to place on the right wall which will block the entry to the washroom. It doesn't make sense in placing right in front of the entry door since you'll lose the privacy. Placing it on the left window wall will be blocking the window of course. Although this layout can be worked out, but definite, definitely not a preference. Placing it on this wall seems to be most appropriate since we have two opposite walls available for bed and the wardrobe or the TV unit. Let us add a headboard to this bed. Now you can have the option of so many varieties of headboards, starting with a solid teakwood handmade customized headboard or a cushioned Chesterfield headboard. In this bed position, we have two options for placing the wardrobe. The first one being two wardrobes on either side of the headboard, which can look like this. Some people may even like to connect these two wardrobes at the top to increase the storage. The second option for the wardrobe is placing on the wall opposite the bed, starting from the left corner. Let us start with a 6 feet length wardrobe, which can look like this from outside and uh, inside. We will go through both the layout options, starting with option number 1 of the wardrobes on either side of the headboard. If you want to have a TV in your bedroom, we will place it right opposite the bed. And let us assume that your TV will not be more than 42 inches. So let's propose a low TV unit of 42 inches by 12 inches deep. And we fit the TV on the wall. The detailed designing of the TV unit we can discuss in some other session. Next, we go ahead with placing a study table on the left of the TV unit. This can also double up as a dresser. Now, it is important to see that when the chair is in the pulled out position, we have comfortable space to move around. Then we can draw and see that we have enough space for the curtains to cover the windows and go a little beyond them so that you can block the sunlight if and when required. You should add all the necessary dimensions required and fill a hatch in the thickness of the wall to complete the drawing for option number one. This is one example of how it may look. Let us start option number two, where we place the long wardrobe on the left corner. After placing a six feet wardrobe, the space left up to the door opening from the wardrobe may not be enough for a 32 inches TV if you need one. In this case, we can reduce the wardrobe by 3 inches and uh, make the space for placing a 32 inch TV and a unit for that. But if you want to place a bigger TV, say 42 inches, then we might as well make the wardrobe 5 feet long instead of 5 feet 9 or 6 feet. You should always remember that even simple designs can look elegant. Checking for comfortable moving space at the entry. Now when we sit on the left half of the bed, do we have a clear vision of the TV? We need to check that. With these dimensions, a small part of about an inch or so of the TV might get blocked. I guess that should be fine. So we move ahead with the layout. And now, on either side of the bed, 
we can place a nice long side table of 33 inches by 18 inches deep. So you can compare both the layout options and see which one you are more comfortable with. Both have their own advantages. And in this option, this is how it might look. This is one project we did for a villa in Ambi Valley. Now we place the curtains to check that it has enough space available. We check and put all the minimum dimensions required. So that completes the option two layout. I hope this session takes you one step further in design thinking. Please subscribe to MCSIDT for further videos. Your feedback is very important to us. Thank you so much.